You guys, y'all pray for Dalvin, beloved son. I got an email from Angela, which is she living on YouTube? I believe her name is she living. She sent me an email. You guys, y'all pray for Dalvin. Um, because he is in the hospital. He has COVID. And just send, you know, just go over and send positive vibes. Don't, you know, I know a lot of people go to her channel and they like to be negative, but she don't need the negativity now. So y'all go over there and y'all show her some love, send out some prayers for her and her family. You know, pray for I, Father God right now. I pray healing for Dalvin, Lord Jesus. I pray that you cover him and you shield him with your protection, Father God. I pray that you just hold in Jesus' name. Amen. You won't be expected with me to take care of you. my man or you my woman. You can't go nowhere. You stuck there. Hello, my bells, and welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Also, if you're new and you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Y'all, today I got me a little um, de-shelled seafood boil. I got a couple of king crab in here. I went to the store and they didn't have very many king crab. Y'all know I really don't care for king crab anyway. But I do like the smaller ones. The smaller ones are not as salty to me as the um, the big those big gigantic ones are. So I got a couple of potatoes in here. Just crab, my sauce, and... Um, um, cucumbers. I, I don't know how I forgot what I had. Cucumbers. So I have some crab claws in here, some snow crab claws. Y'all want a bite? This is hot. It's so hot. I have a watermelon sitting right here that I want to cut. But it's, uh, I guess I'm trying to get it right for something. I don't know what I'm trying to do with it. That was hot. Sure well. This whole little bowl is hot whole little bowl of stuff is hot y'all I'm sorry about the video y'all watched two days ago when my I forgot that my shirt was blue so when I recorded all y'all saw was my neck and the food was all over my shirt but it's all right so y'all can see that this is not uh it's real it's, it's real life it's not for show One moment, though, yeah. So this is a king crab. It's the smaller ones. This is so delicious. Yes, it is. Guys, it is hot up in here. I was trying to, I'm trying to cool it off because it's, it's hot down in this bowl. I got two potatoes in here, I think. Yeah, one and two. Another one right there. I don't have no corn. I have corn, but I didn't want to eat corn because I wanted to eat the potato. And y'all know I don't eat that much. So if I'm going to eat the potato, I'm going to either eat the corn or the potato. But I, put, I wanted the potato today.
this is so delicious. It really is. It's hot though. Oh yeah, I have some water. Just regular OH2O. I be trying to drink water when I eat when I'm eating all this butter. I didn't share with y'all, huh? Let me find y'all king crab up in here. It's hot down up in here, though. Let's see. There's one. Right there. Right there. I'll probably say, girl, there ain't no king crab. That's a baby king crab. It is. Uh, I be cracking myself so up. Uh, I be cracking myself up. Uh. <laughs> Care for the big ones. They're too salty to me. I seem like the smaller ones are not so salty. And I'm assuming maybe it's because they, um, and I might just be making up something. Because they're bigger, so they retain, they get more salt, salt in it or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's the ocean that they live in. I don't know, y'all. I want some of them onions on there, on that potato. I'm a potato. Mm. Excuse me, excuse me. That water is so good because it's so hot outside. The sauce is dripping down my, my, this thing. What is this? My chin. My chinny chin chin. Y'all, do y'all watch, um, Love After Lockup? Do y'all watch that show? I do. I have watched every season since it's come on. And some of them work, some of them don't. But... Some of them you can tell ain't gonna work. This is one guy on there from Virginia. I think he's from Virginia. And all he wants to meet is like women who are in prison. So he met this girl and um, she'd been in prison I think for four years or six years. She was in there for some years. So you would think because she's been in there for as long as she has. I mean, she's a woman. woman. Women have needs. So when she gets out, she's telling him that she ain't giving him none until he get her some boobs.
his friend is trying to tell him that girl is playing you. So he had a toy because he was trying to be faithful to her for the time that she was in there. So he had a toy that he would use. to make him happy. So he went and bought her all this stuff. He bought her some Jordans, like a couple of pair of Jordans. Um, a Victoria's Secret, lingerie. He bought this girl all type of stuff. So when she gets out, I guess she was paroled or probationed. I don't know how it works, y'all. I ain't been there to prison. Um, but I guess she was paroled or probationed to her mother's house. So he was thinking that, you know, when she get out, she was going to come and stay at his house. He gives her all these gifts. She takes all those gifts and goes to her mother's house. So he was saying, he was telling people that that was his fiance. So he told the mother, the girl's mother. Um, yeah, I know you know we engaged. And she was like, wait, y'all engaged? So the mother asked her, like, y'all engaged? She was like, we are not engaged. Why would you tell my mom that we're engaged? He said, are we not engaged? He said, no. I'm like, these are some fools. Don't y'all know people will tell you anything you want to hear why they in jail? They're going to tell you to send them some commissary, to put some money on their books. They're going to tell you everything you want to hear. It's like, is y'all, is this, and this is like, this is grown people. These ain't little bit kids. They grown. You a grown woman or a grown man. And you believed her when she told you that she was going to be all yours when she get out. And only yours. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of those relationships have worked. There's one couple from Las Vegas. Marcelino and I forget the girl's name. I just know his name is Marcelino. But they have worked out. She got her kid back from her um, ex. Because she was sprung out on drugs. And he took her baby. Um, but um, it's like y'all really believe these people though. They they gonna tell you everything. I'm not going on the y'all. I told y'all I did internet day, and I would get some uh, messages from men who are in jail. I am the wrong person to talk to, cause I'm not sending you no money. I'm not accepting no collect calls. I'm not gonna go put buy you some what is it commissary. I'm not gonna do any of that for you. So I am the wrong person to talk to. I, you can't get no job when you get out. But how you gonna take care of yourself? You gonna be expected with me to take care of you? Ain't gonna happen. I'm not a sugar mama. But and these people like go on inmate websites looking for people who are in jail. It's like I don't know. Maybe they look for them because. They in jail and they can't go nowhere. So it's like, you my man or you my woman, you can't go nowhere. You stuck there. And I know where you at. Maybe that's why. I, Y'all teach me something because I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, well, I really ain't trying to figure it out to tell you the truth. But it's like, what can you do with somebody that's in prison but write them a letter and talk on the phone to them? And then don't, when you go there, you don't like... I mean, I've been to a prison before. I visited somebody in prison, so let me not act like I've never been to a prison. I've been to a. I've never been to a prison like me been there and had to do some time there. But I visited someone in a prison before, and you gotta talk to them through a glass. You don't even get to touch the person. So it's like, how is that your boyfriend? How are y'all in a relationship? And he or she is in jail. That don't make no sense. I don't know. God in Virginia is with this girl. And he bought her all this stuff. She ain't gave him a piece of nothing.
she told him that she wanted a boob job and he wouldn't get none until she get her boobs done. So he told her, y'all, he told her. She said, you promised me. He said, I know I promised you. I know what I said. If I got to not pay my rent, not pay my bills um, for a few months to get it, that's what I do. So you're going to be homeless to get her some boobs that she ain't even let you see. It was like, are you for real? Y'all. <laughs> some people got their priorities mixed up. And she said, you really not pay your bills and your rent to get me some boobs? And he said, yeah. She said, all right. I'm like, is this for real? Because she knows she got somewhere to live. She can go live with her mama. He can't go live with her mama because her mama ain't going to let him come stay. But it's like, is this is this serious? This Is, is this really serious stuff that people really go to jail looking for folks. You go on a website that says, M I think you guys said inmates.com or something like that. Y'all don't go typing in inmates.com. I don't want y'all going out there finding y'all no inmate. You can find a real man or woman on the street. You can. It's They still out there. They got some, they still got some good ones out there, y'all. It's still some of them. I ain't found one yet, but when y'all find one, send him my way. Send me his brother or something. But make sure the exact replica of the brother that if he treat me right, he gonna the brother gonna treat me right too. Make sure their mama raised him right. Cause I don't want the knucklehead brother. Yeah, but it, it's still some good ones out there, y'all. It really is. Don't give up on love and go typing in inmates.com because you feel they in jail for a couple more years. They can't do nothing, but we can talk on the phone all the time. They can't do nothing for you. Nothing. At all. I knew a girl who her husband was in jail and she told me that he took care of her. I'm like, how do you take care of you? In jail. He in jail. How do you take care of you? She told me he paid her bills. I'm like, what is he, a mob boss or something? He got his mob homies bringing you? Because I'm trying to figure out how is he taking care of her when he in the jail. She said he paid her rent, her bills, her everything. I'm like, are you serious? I guess, I guess they got a way. They got a way of talking on the phone. They got a way of getting on TikTok. I seen a whole jail little TikTok, um, what are the, what would they call them? Uh, um, something mob. What is them? Them little dance things that they call flash mob or something like that. They was doing a whole little dance and they was all in jail. I'm like, where they get a phone from to record TikTok videos? Y'all, they had a phone. But then people in there, them people who work in there, them COs, they be taking them people, they be selling them people phone. I'm like, that's crazy. They should give them a computer or something. They ain't got nothing but time on their hand. Give them a computer, let them do something constructive. Make some video. They ain't in here fighting, bashing each other's head in because you sat on my seat or I asked you, can I have your cornbread? Or you asked me, can I have my cornbread? And I said, you still ain't getting my cornbread. <laughs> I just watched that the other day. <laughs> I love that movie. I'm but I want to know, would you all date somebody that's in prison? Like, would you find somebody, would you go on, a, if you found somebody on a dating website, this one girl, there's this one girl on there, and she said that um, she met the guy on the dating website. And... She was talking to him for a long time. Then she found out she, he was in jail, but by that time she was already in love, she said. I don't see how you can fall in love with somebody on the phone. Or not even on the phone. It's only if they talk on the phone. But how you fall in love with somebody that you chit chatting back and forth with on a website? You didn't fall fell in love, so it was too late for you to change your mind. I don't know how she fell in love, but she said she fell in love. So it was too late for her. But, um, I don't 
don't know what I was saying, y'all. I had a stroke. Like Sissy say, I done had a stroke. She had a stroke. She like had this, a stroke. Y'all, this one lady, she was a CO. She lost her job because she was dealing with a man. And they told them, don't deal with people in here or you can lose your job. Y'all, she lost her job. Her good job. I I'm, I'm think COs get paid pretty good. Because I know somebody who's a CO. And they get paid pretty good money. I think they get paid pretty good money. She went to jail and everything. I think for like 60 days or 6 months. Or something like that. She went to jail because she was dealing with this man. Now they, they got married in jail. But they didn't. They wasn't at the wedding. The two of them wasn't at the wedding. Somebody else stood in for them. I'm like what, what kind of hocus pocus stuff is this? How do you get married to somebody? But your your bodies wasn't y'all wasn't there. The people who was getting married, but somebody stood in for him, and somebody stood in for her for them to get married. And because she's on probation, she's not supposed to be around him. But when he got out, they let her him stay with her to quarantine for fourteen days. Stay with her, but after fourteen days, he has to go live with somebody else because she's on probation, and she can't be around somebody who's on parole. I think that's how it goes, y'all. But it's like you lost your job. You literally lost your good paying job for a man that was in the prison that you claim you fell in love with. I fell in love with him. How do you fall in love? She said that she went through his room looking for some stuff and he was writing poems and she read the poems and stuff. And she just fell in love with the poem. I'm like, is she for real? I'm like, is this real? i like, this got to be a show that I'm getting pumped. I, you you got to be getting bumped. Y'all, the show is crazy. I'm quite sure a few of you have watched. I'm quite sure a lot of you have watched the dumb show. Because it's a crazy show to me. But I like to watch it. Um, if y'all like this, these little talks about these crazy TV, reality TV shows. If y'all like to hear that, y'all tell me. I keep telling y'all about them because I watch them. I tell y'all about all the... Uh, reality shows if y'all want to hear about them but i'm about to go because don't forget to like comment subscribe share this video with ever and anybody that you know and don't forget to hit that little bell ding, 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 so that you would be notified of each and every time that i post a video love you guys bye Mwah. oh don't forget to wash your hands wash them if you wash your hands and do everything you're supposed to do you shouldn't have to worry about getting the covid unless you kissing Lobbing down on somebody or something, and that's how you got it. But wash your hands, y'all. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands.